Hello and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to show you how to sharpen an image uh, within Photoshop but this is a bit of a twist to it where it's a selective point first. Very good technique and it does help out especially when you're doing landscape photography. Now what I'm going to do is on this image it looks okay but the foreground is just slightly under sharpened. In other words what I mean is it's not as sharp as I'd like it to be. So what I'm going to do is balance the focus out throughout the, out the whole of the image by sharpening it and bringing it all in together so it all balances out. Very simple technique, very easy to use. So what we're going to do is, the first thing I'm going to do is go over to the right hand side, press curl and the letter J to make a background copy of your image. Then we're going to go over to the left hand side and we're going to use the lasso tool to select the area on the photograph. If you can't find it, count down three on the icons, press and hold your mouse button and on each tab, if you press and hold down, you will see a box will open and it will show you what's available within that box. In this case we're going for the lasso tool. Very straightforward, I'm just going across because I'm bringing the grass, the stone and the rocks into the picture to bring a bit more detail out. So what I'm going to do is just roughly draw around it, keep the edges straight for the bottom and as you can see it selected the area from the bottom of the picture. Now this can happen when you've got a midpoint for focusing on a landscape, in other words if you're focusing on an infinity sometimes you're going to lose some detail in the foreground. This will bring the sharpness back in and balance the picture out throughout. Now once we've got that we're going to sharpen this image up and we're going to go to filter, sharpen, unsharpen mask and I'm going to bring up the sharpen amount to about 140-145% with a radius of 0 0.9 and a threshold of 4. Now that will vary with your images itself, this is just the uh, settings I'm using for this individual image itself. Click OK. Now you're in a danger as well of when you're doing and using the sharpening tool you can over process the actual, ima the actual image itself. So take care when you're doing that and don't over sharpen. If you over sharpen it's, I think that's the most a uh, criminal thing that you can do to a photograph, it just looks as bad as oversaturating it or um, not doing the real detail, it's just bad processing. Uh, but now that we've sharpened it, obviously this part here which, which we've selected is going to stand out more than the background, but more so because this selective area around here which, which we have chosen is going to have a sharp clean line through. So to avoid that I'm going to click on the refined edge tab and as you can see that is where we've sharpened the rest of the image will show obviously because we've um, cut that out by using the background copy but it's showing me the sharpness on what's been standing out more. So on the middle box you've got adjust edge so where it's got feather just under smooth we're going to pull right up to so about 139. Now that's going to vary again to your image and as you can see it just blended that line out and uh, click OK and now as you can see the lines are still there so I'm going to go to select and deselect and you will not see now a line where we have selected that earlier. It, it just looks natural. There's no decisive sharpness running through that, it's balanced the image out quite well and it, it falling in line with a lot more detail now on the rock and the grass and the uh, the stones on to the right hand side. So the next thing I'm going to do is going to right click and flatten the image and then I'm going to go back to filter, sharpen again, unsharpen mask but this time I'm going to drop it down to about 45% leave the threshold and the radius the same, click OK and that will just balance the image out straight through. So if I show you that, it's not over processed, it's not over sharpened and it's just balanced the all of the image out. So it's 
focused from the start of the foreground all the way through to the stones at the back. That's your selective focusing. Hope you've enjoyed it. Until next time, bye for now.